chair is being squeaky. So I can't move. What's up, everybody? Welcome to our YouTube channel, Honey Hole Angling. Today, I'm going to talk about how to find fishing spots. You know, you get into fly fishing or just fishing in general, and you don't know where to go fish. You bought a rod, you bought a reel, you're gung ho about it. Maybe you went with a guide somewhere and you're like, I want to do this, but it's really hard to find your own fishing spots. And on the flip side of that, you might ask your buddy or you might go on to a group or message group facebook group that and ask where to go fishing and you're probably met with uh, comments that maybe aren't so nice um, because people aren't just willing to give up their fishing spots if they just told everyone where they went fishing that's going to overcrowd the area that they like to fish and part of the reason people like to go fish is because they like to be outside they don't want to have to you know fight elbow to elbow with a bunch of other anglers on the water and so this video aims to provide you guys um, as a resource to find your own fishing spots and how to research spots and you guys will get a lot of fulfillment out of finding your own spots or finding your own honey hole um, and so I'm gonna walk you through the process that I go through to find spots keep in mind I'm located in Texas in San Antonio and I'm gonna base that around a lot of my discussions but I'll also show you guys if you live in a different state or a different region a lot of this applies as well this is just general information on where can I go fishing also you know you guys are gonna go out and some of these spots aren't gonna be good but part of the fun is trying them out and then you will find a gym and you'll start fishing there all the time maybe you're the only person that knows about it or only a couple people fish it and so uh, we're gonna get right into it so the first thing is uh, your state wildlife agency uh, will have a website for us, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. They have a website, and there's a whole where there's a whole where to fish section, and you can come to this page. and This is a great resource. Your fishing licenses pay for, you know, water access. They stock fish conservation. Um, water management and so a lot of times state agencies will post what they're doing they'll post stocking schedules you can find them on this website and they're also going to post the public access areas as well so I would start with your if you just don't know where to begin start with your state wildlife agency and a great place in Texas to start is in state parks because in state parks you don't need a fish fishing license you're you pay to enter the state park and with that entry comes the right to fish on the state park property. And so you don't have to have a fishing license. So you can come and maybe look in your area. I'm around San Antonio. Um, I can zoom the map in here and I can find a couple places. Uh, this would be Guadalupe River State Park. It's on the Guadalupe River. Boom, there's water there. That's a great place to start. And so start with your state parks, especially if you're in Texas. I don't know how the rules apply to other states, but look into your uh fishing regulations you need to know that in case you get stopped by a game warden you can also come over here and find community fishing lakes there's a couple in our area uh, all these red dots represent a community fishing lake and so you can find a little lake that you want to go fish let's click on uh fisher park pond comal county it tells you the size and you can even search by region let's do south texas San Antonio is included in that. And so if we go to Bear County, which is the county we live in, in my county that I live in, there's, shoot, a ton of lakes opportunity to go fish. And are all of these gonna be great places to fish? No, but it gives you an idea of where to start. Go check it out. Maybe you don't catch any fish, cross it off your list. Next time you go out fishing, go to the next one down, cross it off your list. So uh, start with your state wildlife agency as a way to find places to fish. Uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department does a good job. They have a tackle loaner program. So if you've never fished before, you want to borrow fishing tackle, that's great. They have we wheelchair accessible park facilities. Um, and there's just a lot more information on here. Uh, Least river access is a good one. These are privately owned areas that the state uh, leases from the landowners to allow uh fishermen with licenses to access these areas and fish. And so come down here 
and you can look at all of the leased areas. And if you click on one, we'll just click on Hidden Shores because I looked at it yesterday. It'll give you uh, information. There's sometimes a lease period. And so you need to know what that lease period is. There's a contact. You need to get a gate code. You know, all kinds of good information here. You guys need to read up on it. Just make sure you're aware of the regulations of fishing in your area. So I like to fish in um, New Mexico a lot. New Mexico has the same thing. I just wanted to look up and see if other states had the same thing that Texas does. New Mexico has a page similar. I've never fished in Oregon. I picked one on the West Coast. 50 places to go fishing within 60 miles of Portland, right here on the Oregon page. So if you're traveling or if you live in Oregon or you live, you know, if you live in Portland and you're looking for a place to go fishing, boom, it's right there. And then also I picked a, a, a East Coast state. Let's see, where was it? Uh, North Carolina, where to fish, fishing access map, uh, public mountain trout waters. And so your state wildlife agency is a great resource just as a great place to start. Where can I go fishing? Start here. There'll be a ton of opportunity. Cross them off the list. You might find a spot that's worth uh, putting in putting in your Google Maps and saving for later. Uh, the next thing is, speaking of Google Maps, is Google. And so you can come on Google Maps, and you can look for areas with water. Lake Medina is right here. Um, I'm going to give you guys uh, uh, a spot that I have uh, checked out in the past. I'm not going to tell you if it's good or bad. You'll have to go and spend the time for yourself. But this is a Fox Park Trailhead Natural Area, and uh, Leon Creek comes through here. This is a city park, so it's it's publicly accessible. And, uh, you know, I just spend a lot of time on Google looking at parks, looking at different areas, seeing where there's public access, seeing where I'm allowed to fish. And so you can come on here and Google. You can add layers, um, terrain, so you can see. Oh, there we go. So you can see, you know, if generally look, this creek looks dried up, but there might be some water down here. There might be some water here that pools up and holds. Um, and so those would be, there's a long stretch of water here. So although a lot of the creek is dry, maybe it's not always dry. And you go check that area out. And so use Google, come on here, find parks, find rivers, and check out and see if there's access to those areas. Another good resource would be uh, on X maps. Now this is a paid mapping software, similar, uh, it works similarly to Google, but gives you some more information. For example, it gives you the owner of property. And so you can see if it's really public or not. Uh, if you're concerned about accessing water on a public place, uh, this website, it's also a phone app, we'll give you that information. This is the same park I showed you on Google. It is owned by the city of San Antonio, uh, Bear County, and so you can see here uh, that this would be a good, potentially a good spot to fish. You just have to go and put in a little bit of time yourself. Uh, this is also a good, if you're a hunter, this is a very good resource, and most people I know who use Onyx use it for hunting purposes, but it gives you a little bit more information than Google, especially if you're concerned about what's private what's public. In Texas, uh, you have to access uh, waterways by public, but once you're in the water, if you stay in the water, you're generally not breaking any rules. Um, again, that's kind of a touchy subject, so look into the rules and regulations yourself and make a smart decision. You can always call a game warden as well if you're not sure, and they'll give you a, rec give you a recommendation on whether they think that that's a public waterway or not. Because uh, the rules I know here are very vague. It's something that we talk about all the time. Another resource would be a book, Fly Fishing in the Texas Hill Country. Uh, you know, I'm, there's books for all different areas across the country. I don't know what the, air, the book in your area is, but I know if you live in the Hill Country area of Texas, this is a great resource. It's not a guidebook as far as how to fish, but it's a public access book. This book tells you, hey, you know, there's a county crossing bridge here. This is a good spot to access the water. Again, you know, Kevin's a good friend of mine. He doesn't go into, hey, you know, you should, you know, this spot's no good. You shouldn't fish here. Uh, that's for you to find out. This book really details, hey, there's public water 
here and you can access the water here. And so check it out for yourself. Um, this is a great book. We sell it on our website. If you guys are in our area and, and interested, it is an invaluable resource. I haven't even hit every spot in this book, but when I do, I take the book out and I make notes in the book. And so use this as a resource as well. The last thing is a fly shops or fishing stores are always a good resource. And to be honest with you, they're not going to give you uh, their best spots. They're just not going to. People, if you find a really good fishing spot, you're only going to take your best buddies there who you know are not going to spill the beans on a certain area. And so they're not going to give you the best spots, but if you're looking for a quick spot, hey, I might be able to go catch some fish, go into your local fly shop. Don't call those guys up and ask them, where should I go fish over the phone? You know, they're providing a service. You know, go in, buy a couple flies. You might get a slightly better spot if you take a six pack of beers in or a bottle of whiskey and share it with those guys. But um, just, you know, your local fly shop is always a great resource as well. Um, I just, I don't want you guys to get discouraged when you get into fishing and be like, man, I don't know where to go. I don't have a boat. I don't have a kayak. You don't need a boat. You don't need a kayak. You just need a little bit of research. You know, it'll take you five minutes to go to the Texas Parks and go to the Texas Parks and Wildlife website and come over here and find a spot that is in your area, starting with community fishing lakes. You know, find a spot that's in your area. Texas is, Texas is pretty well covered, except if you're way out in West Texas with community fishing lakes. And so, especially if you're in a major hub, I mean, this is San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth. And even if you're not in a hub, uh, there are places all over where you guys can go fish. So there's not a lot, there's not a lack of fishing opportunity. You just need to do a little bit of research yourself, take five minutes, come here, you know, go to Google, see where there's water, make sure you know the regulations, and then go get after it. And you guys will find a honey hole for yourself. And uh, it's going to be great. And you guys will feel so much more accomplished if you find that spot yourself, as opposed to, you know, going on Facebook and asking, hey, where should I just bought a rod? Where should I go fishing? You know, do a little bit of research. You bought a rod, make it fun, go out and get after it, guys. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope y'all found this helpful. If y'all have any other suggestions that aren't hot spotting, but a real suggestion for other people to follow, drop them down in the comments. If you guys give a great suggestion, I'll pin it to the top so everybody can see it. And uh, if you guys want to order that book, hop on our website. We also have hats and stickers and all kinds of stuff. And we have done a podcast episode covering this as well. I'll link our podcast in the description below so you guys can check that out. We record weekly. They're about an hour and a half. We talk about fishing, hunting, and uh, all things outdoors. And so hope you guys check it out, and we'll see you guys out on the water.